Let's get you back to the All Pro Capital courtside seats and rejoin Jason Shepard. BYU Women's Basketball brought to you by Wilner and O'Reilly. Immigration solutions in Utah and abroad at wilneroreilly.com. Well, in a game where BYU has never had the lead, they've been tied a couple of times. They've never had the lead. They trail by 20 heading into the fourth quarter here in Fort Worth, Texas. It is the first Big 12 game for the BYU Cougars, and they're taking on number 23 TCU. Horn Frogs up 63 to 43. Let's check in on BYU men's basketball. They're hosting Wyoming in their non-conference finale going on right now at the Marriott Center. BYU up by five. Make that 18 now. 18-10 Cougs leading the Wyoming Cowboys in Provo. The play has resumed. Fourth quarter underway here at Schollmeyer Arena. Ivanovic drives baseline. Misses the bunny. A little too strong. Rebound to Lauren Gustin. BYU's first possession of the fourth. Down 20. All you can do is try and chip away and see what happens. To Gustin in the paint. Gustin underhand scoop. Foul before the shot. And it'll be a side out for BYU. Foul called on Deja Turner, who's making her first appearance of the ball game. Deja Turner, the sophomore from Richard, sophomore from Fayetteville, North Carolina. They'll inbound Augustine. 18 seconds for a shot for the Cougs. Out to Smiler in the corner. Drive strong on Yovanovich. Fouled. Do they say on the shot? And they are going to say on the shot. So it's going to be two free throws for Kaylee Smiler. Strong drive in the lane. Fouled on the attempt. And now back to the free throw line goes Kaylee Smiler. Smy with seven points, four assists. And the first free throw is good. Her last trip was one of two, but makes the first here. BYU trying to claw their way back in a two for two trip by Smiler. Thirty seconds into the fourth quarter, BYU within 18, 63-45. Connor back into the ball game for TCU. Dribble handoff to Owens, and a foul will be called away from the basketball. Amari Whiting call for the personal foul, her second, and BYU's first. And Sedona Prince. And Agnes Imanopu back in for TCU. Horn Frogs inbound to Owens. To Imanopu. Straight away three, and it's good. Checking into the ball game and draining threes. Agnes Imanopu. And the lead is 21 for the 23rd ranked Horn Frogs. They are legit. Came in 13 0. Into the corner to Davenport. Drives, kicks back to Gustin, back to Davenport. Her three is too strong. Rebound, Yovanovic. Now into the hands of Jaden Owens. Owens fouled, a little hip check by Davenport on the drive. BYU's second team foul. Davenport's first personal. 8.36 remaining in our... Going to see Rose Bubakar for the first time. She'll check into the ball game for Lauren Davenport. Dav will leave with five points. Bubakar into the ball game. They'll inbound to Prince. Prince dribble handoff to Connor. Connor, tell me if you've heard this one before. Right to the rim, off the glass and in. That is what she's done. Nothing mid range for her. It's either three or right at the rim, and she has been super efficient tonight, or rather today. 50%, 50%, 8 of 16. And Whiting fouled. Madison Connor fouled Whiting. And Amari will shoot two free throws. And maybe this is how BYU is going to get back into this. Just forcing the issue. Heading to the free throw line with the clock stopped. First free throw by Amari. Hits the back of the iron. 68-45, 13, excuse me, 23-point lead for TCU. Second free throw is good. Those free throws brought to you by 
Zions Bank for 150 years of helping you succeed. Zions Bank is for you. Nearing eight minutes to go here in the fourth. BYU down 22. Imanopu. Layup short, gets her own rebound. They'll reset back to Jovanovic. And now to Prince and to Owens from left to right. Owens drives on Gustin. Drives baseline, kicks out to Jovanovic. Three from the corner, no good. Rebound to Imanopu, but call for the offensive foul, knocking Whiting to the ground, trying to get the rebound. And so it will be BYU possession with 7.52 left. BYU shooting 34% and 32% from three. TCU 54% from the field. And how about this? 78% from three. They're seven of nine. Threes and points in the paint have really hurt BYU today. Speaking of the paint, Gustin gets it. Back to Rose. Rose, three-pointer. No good. Rebound fought for by Gustin and Imanopu. And a jump ball is called. And possession arrow pointing the Cougars' way. So BYU will keep it. Up next for BYU, midweek game on Wednesday at the Marriott Center, taking on the Oklahoma Sooners. We'll have it for you Wednesday, 7 o'clock Mountain Time, here on the new skin BYU Sports Network. Smiler has it. Gustin sets the screen. Back to Gustin. Long jump shot is no good. And Gustin gets her own rebound into the paint. Floater is good with the right hand. Excellent job following her shot, putting it back up and in by Lauren Gustin. 68-48, 68-48, Cougars down 20. Just chip away at it. Possession by possession. Cross-court pass to Nopu. Three is no good. Rebound to Gustin. Back to Wilson. Rose into the corner. Drive strong. Passes off to Gustin. It's a little step back. Floater over the extended arms of Prince. And back-to-back jump shots. By Lauren Gustin. BYU within 18 with six and a half to go. Good defense on one. Offense scoring on the other. That's the recipe. Can they keep it up? Quick 4-0 run by the Cougars. Connor. Strong drive baseline. No good. Rebound Gustin. BYU getting into a nice rhythm here. Cougars push it to Smiler. Smiler picks up the dribble. Back to Whiting. Cross court pass to Bubakar to Woolston. She'll raise for three and hit from three. And BYU on a run here within 15. It's 68-53, six minutes left. The Cougars, little energy on defense, and the offense is coming alive. Under six minutes to go. Owens, cut off baseline. Back out to Imanopu. Three, no good. Rebound, guess who? Lauren Gustin. That's now 16 rebounds for Lauren Gustin, your nation's leading rebounder. To Whiting, into the paint. Fouled on the shot. Oh, and almost falls. Bounced out. But an opportunity for two more free throws for BYU. Excellent defense. Fantastic rebounding. They're pushing the ball, forcing the issue. And they're on the comeback trail. An 8-0 run over the last 2.43. First free throw by Whiting. Up and pure. Make that a 9-0 run. And the Cougars have also hit their last three field goals. Three for three. 68-54. Second free throw is good. BYU, which trailed by 23, now within 13. A 10-0 run by your Cougs. Here we go. Five and a half minutes to go. Down to Prince. Back to Jovanovic. Jovanovic drives strong, loses the ball, and a foul is called. Oh, man. Mm. That was close. That I want to see a replay of. Inbound for TCU on the baseline. 5.22 left here in the fourth. Owens to Prince. Strong drive. Count it, and she's fouled. Rose tried to take the charge. She was in the restricted area. The layup is good by Prince. And now a three-point opportunity for the Horn Frogs. And that will end BYU's 10-0 run. TCU back up 15. And can make it 16. 
It was a good idea by Rose. She was just too far under the basket. And the free throw is good. It is a three-point play, and it's 71-55. 16-point lead for the 23rd-ranked Horn Frogs. Back to Bubakar, three-point range. Passes back to Smiler. Now in the paint to Gustin. Gustin spins, shoots, rebound Prince. Good look by Gustin. And now Jovanovic has it to Imanopu, and now Owens. And now under five minutes to go, TCU will slow things down a little bit. Imanopu drives, kicks to Jovanovic. Ten seconds for a shot. Owens passes out of the double team, knocked away by Gustin. Good defense by Lauren. Here come the Cougars, trying to score in transition. Spin move by Amari, too strong. Layup is no good. Owens comes down with it. And now Owens looking to go coast to coast. Takes the contact by Rose. The contact looked to be initiated by Owens. She's the one that jumped into Rose. But they call the foul on Bubakar. Another three-point opportunity. BYU pulled within 13. And TCU is looking for back-to-back three-point opportunities in the last two possessions. 4.27 left here in the fourth. We'll take a timeout. TCU 73, BYU 55 on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. This is BYU Women's Basketball on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. 4.27 remaining here in the fourth quarter. BYU, which trailed by as many as 23, it pulled within 13 using a 10-0 run. But TCU answering back with a couple of three-point plays before the timeout. A foul was called. The layup was good. So TCU with an opportunity for the three-point play when play resumes. And they've had an answer for BYU's 10-0 run. It is 73-55. Horn Frogs. Good energetic crowd here at Schollmeyer Arena today. And again, no students here. But uh, as I mentioned earlier in the broadcast, this place seats about 6,800. My guess is you've probably got about, I don't know, 2,500 maybe? It's certainly not half full, but it definitely has a Weber State vibe. It makes you feel like you're in the D Event Center with being circular and purple. When we walked into it last night, I'm like, wow, did we, are we in Ogden? Timeout is over. And play set to resume. Jaden Owens will be at the free throw line. The foul was called on Rose Bubakar. The layup was made, and now Owens at the free throw line and converts. It is a three-point play, and it's 74-55. A 6-0 run by TCU pushes their lead back to 19. Can the Cougars answer again? Running out of time, nearing four minutes to go. BYU on offense. Whiting straight away. Defended by Owens. On the wing to Smiler. Smiler into the paint. Passes out of the double team to Bubakar. Rose pulls up from the free throw line and hits the jump shot. Excellent move and shot by Rose Bubakar. Good minutes by Rose. And we're under four minutes left. 74-57. Imanopu faked the three. Cross-court pass to Owens, now to Prince. Prince on the high post, gives back to Owens. Owens uses the screen, a little give and go with Prince, and it works to perfection. Lays it off the glass and in. 76-57, TCU. 3.25 left here in the fourth. Back to Woolston. Woolston drives, kicks to Whiting. Whiting now backing in. Passes out to Smiler. Out to Woolston. Corner three. Rims out. Rebound. Imanopu. Outlet pass to Madison Connor. Connor spins away from the defense. Passes out of the triple team. Imanopu. Three. No good. Rebound. Whiting. Whiting now with five rebounds to go along with ten points. Out to Rose. Three straight away is on its way. And that is good. And how about Rose Bubakar checking into the game and just draining threes. Another Mountain America Credit Union three, 76-60. BYU within 16, two and a half minutes to go. Down low to Prince, going back to the bread and butter. 
And Prince is foul, passing out of the double team. And that's free throws. BYU's already over the five foul limit. So Prince will head to the free throw line for two. Excellent minutes by Rose Bubakar. She's got five points, two of three from the field, one of two from three, also two assists. But right now, you got to get stops and then score. And right now, Prince is at the line. First free throw is good. 233 remaining here in the fourth. 23rd ranked Horn Frogs up 77 60. Make it 78 60, an 18 point advantage with two and a half minutes left. BYU to this point has actually outscored the Horn Frogs by two in this quarter, but obviously a lot of the damage was done early. Into Rose in the paint. Rose. Passes to Whiting. Whiting sets, shoots for three, and another three by BYU. Back-to-back possessions, draining shots from the perimeter, and another Mountain America Credit Union three. It's now 78-63, BYU within 15 with two minutes left. Back out to Yovanovic. She'll try and answer with the three. That's no good. Rose Bubakar, good box out, comes down with the board. Cougars push it. Whiting, three-point range. Hands off to Smiler, to Rose. Rose stops. Turns, shoots, no good. It was a good look. Just rimmed out. Rebound to Prince. 145 left. I like this aggressiveness we're seeing from Rose. Shooting it with confidence. Love to see that. Three on the way is good by Emma Nopu. And 90 seconds left, and it's 81-63. 18-point lead for the Horn Frogs. BYU is going to fall to 10-4 and 0-1 and and in the Big 12. Baseline jump shot, too strong by Gustin. Rebound to Prince. Prince, that is her 10th rebound to go along with 25 points. So a double-double for Sedona Prince. 110 left. And I'm going to have an official's timeout. And TCU is going to make some substitutions. BYU will do the same. It looks like Aliyah Mataval. We'll check into the ball game for the first time, as will Marina Mata for the first time. Lauren Davenport back into the ball game. Taking a seat for BYU is Amari Whiting, Kaylee Smiler, and Lauren Gustin. So their day is done. Connor Owens and Prince also take a seat for the Horn Frogs. So the last 109 will be played by the bench for both teams. TCU will inbound to Victoria Flores. Flores back to Roberson. 14 seconds for the Horn Frogs to get a shot off. Exactly one minute left. It's 81 63. TCU by 18, almost a turnover. Now six seconds. Yovanovic drives baseline, kicks out on the perimeter. A three on the way is too strong by Flores, and that uh, bounces out of bounds. And it's a shot clock violation. So BYU will have it with exactly 47 seconds left. Down 18. Bubakar will inbound. Quick substitution. Calvert out. And they did not allow Mata to check in. So Marina Mata now into the ball game for the final 47 seconds. Woolston bringing it into the front court. To Mataval. Back to Woolston. Woolley to Davenport. And then back to Woolley. Woolston steps in. Nice 15-foot jump shot. And it's 81-65. BYU trailing by 16, under 30 seconds left. Three-second differential between shot and game clock. Three on the way by Roberson. No good. Rebound, Matavau. 20 seconds left. And the Cougars will fall to 0-1 in the Big 12. And 10-4 and overall. 10 seconds left. Matavau to Wolston. Seven seconds to Rose in the paint. Strong drive, uses glass, gets it to go. Nice move by Rose and a good game off the bench by Rose Bubakar. TCU will inbound. The buzzer will sound and that will do it. Your final score from Fort Worth, Texas. Number 23, TCU defeats BYU 81 to 67. The Horn Frogs improved to 14 and 0. They are 1 and 0 in the Big 12. BYU now 10 and 4 overall, 0 and 1 in the Big 12 Conference. We'll take a break. We'll come back. We will have final stats and Cougar Post Game Live next from Schollmeyer Arena on the campus of TCU on the new skin, BYU Sports Network.